If you've been watching Vox, we've been telling you about the growing homeless camp set up next to Seattle Elementary School. I've seen these camps firsthand, and now the Washington State Labor Department is getting involved to determine if this one's this one is indeed a safety hazard, like so many parents, including our next guest, claim. Raul Goodrich is a parent at that Seattle Elementary School, and he joins us now. Um, sir, thank you so much for joining. Um, tell us about this encampment that's going on right there, the needles that are surrounded. I've seen it myself. Um, what do people need to know? Okay, so they need to know it's a super dangerous environment that has been fostered on school property. Lots of weapons have been found there. I found a sword there. Uh, there's throwing axes there that get carried around. There's pellet guns there. Uh, they just set up targets. The pellet guns are usually used to shoot rats that are on the property. Uh, uh, there is King County Needle Exchange comes right up behind our school and delivers needles. There's prostitutes that get delivered there. It's a completely out of control environment, only feet away from our playground. And the kids see all of this. So, Rel, I have to ask the obvious question. Is this safe for kids to be anywhere around? Oh, it's completely unsafe. I mean... <clears throat> A week ago, police showed up to stop a fight allegedly over a firearm, and we've seen the pellet guns out, and our school has gone into a shelter in place and a lockdown because of the weapons that are back there. Kids can't be anywhere near this. It's an obvious threat to the teachers and the students, and that's why this complaint was filed with Labor and Industries by a teacher. And, Raul, right down the street, I was reporting, they've had to stop the Little League from actually having their, their baseball practices because there's been fights and altercations there. Yeah, so someone came right out of this same encampment and walked to the, oh, sorry, that was a different Little League game. Yes, those were shut down, uh, but there are high school games right next to this encampment, and someone came out of this encampment and threatened to kill a bunch of people, so now the high school kids can't even have Little League game or can't have baseball games there, and that's separate from the Little League games down the street that also had to be canceled from a separate encampment. Ral, <clears throat> I got to ask you this. Who do you blame? Who's responsible? It's the school board. They're letting this happen on their property. They're not admitting that this is dangerous. They're not looking out for students at all. Uh, the, the, the mayor could do more to help us out at this point, but the school board needs to admit they can't handle this situation and beg the city for help. You know, it's just amazing to me because, uh, as you know, Raul, I'm not educating you. The, the school district and the city have been going back and forth on whose responsibility it is. But you pay property taxes to the school district. They should be doing something about this, and it's very unfortunate. They don't care enough about these kids to make sure that they're safe. Thanks so much for joining the program. We'll continue to follow this story. Thanks so much for having me on, Lawrence. I appreciate it. You bet.